Got that, Dave. Views like this and jumps that big only mean one thing, Red Bull Rampage. And this is Red Bull Rampage 2023, where there's new builders, new riders, new lines going into this insane landscape. And I'm gonna walk around now, check out some of the lines and show you, well, things like this. One of the biggest jumps I've ever seen. <laughs> no way. Wow, coming off there. I love this event. It's the pinnacle of free ride. This is where riders go bigger, take more risks and commit more of themselves throughout the 10 days building than any event in the entire calendar year. So this is gonna be an epic video where I get to see behind the scenes and get an insight into what we're gonna see in the Red Bull Rampage finals. Let's go and check it out. This is the drop that leads into that massive canyon booter. So you've got a takeoff here onto a down lily pad to another landing. So it's a double drop. Last year, Shimon Godziak 360'd onto that pad and then dropped off. This year, the Envase guys are building a setback step down lip to the same landing. And then we've got Clements Cordella, his first time at Rampage, who said, all right, I want to take off on the same drop landing, but I'm going to miss the lily pad and I'm going to drop all the way to the second landing, which hasn't been measured. But looking from here, it's like unfathomably big. And even off the lily pad, you have to break for that jump. So I have no idea how he's going to deal with the speed. It's going to be like a runaway train headed for a huge, trickable jump. And that is a big jump. This is really blind. The step down one feels the gnarliest of all. Look. Because you can't even see the landing now. It's actually like so over the top. So he's going to be kind of... A few feet inside, out. Right? We, we widen the landing a little bit. We're yeah. going to aim him a bit inside, and it's still like 11 out of 10 gnarly. It's oh, yeah. Line. I guess he's going to backflip it too. We need to destroy <laughs> more rocks. I like how he said we're going to aim him because actually it's these guys' job <laughs> to determine where he lands, right? And on this, the margin for error is actually non existent. Now, this is something everyone has been talking about, okay? G. Atherton is back at Red Bull Rampage after 10 years away. Now, this drop, really hard for me to film because it makes my legs go to jelly when I'm not looking where I am, but the landing for this, okay, is all the way down there, past all of these rocks. You can hardly make it out. It's so narrow, and this is the takeoff, this downhill, rounded takeoff. So it's an absolute plum drop, okay? There's hardly any outward distance. Keep on my toes. I hope this tape's big enough. Let's see what G's created. A few riders are saying this may be the biggest drop ever. Good old G. He's not been here in 10 years. He had to, he had to do it, didn't he? He had to build the biggest drop ever. Are you still on top of the landing? Yeah. It's so horrendous. Why, G? I don't know about this one. Anyway, let's see how big it is. You ready, Dave? Nineteen point eight to so twenty meters. Twenty meters. I don't. I've never seen a twenty meter drop. That's horrendous. This is ridiculous. This is proving to be a really iconic piece of rampage this year. This is Brendog's Canyon Gap yet again, which is down there, sixty foot long. But the setup for this one is far from complete and far from good, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a crazy running. Um, what are you doing? We sort of. We sort of started with this cliff. It did. It was out that far, and we were roped in on day one, and we've just been chipping away since. The main problem lies in this like white layer of granite, which is about three foot wide or something. But it's unbelievably hard, dude. So you've chipped all that out on your own? No, we've been taking it in turns. Okay. But I'm trying to save Brent's hands because he's actually got to pull up off that thing. But if he drop, if you drop in from there now, I don't think there's enough speed. No way. This is the run-in for Brendog's Canyon Gap, okay? It's it's like unrideable right now. All of that rock, I'd say, has to go, vanish, which probably means opening up this channel. So they've got so much proper physical work to do here. 
I mean, hence the sledgehammer and the pickaxe, two of my least favorite tools. And then he's built a skimmer jump over someone else's course there. This whole thing looks like it has to fit together as one hit. You won't be able to stop there. You will not be able to stop there, presumably. So the first time Bren drops in here, he's going all the way to the other side of that canyon. Talk me through your maths, Brendan. The maths are dropping higher than the height that you jump across, I say your gap is uh, 20 meters, two meters long. Yeah, if you drop from four meters high. No, if you drop from a two meter height, you should be able to get over it. A two meter rolling clears a two meter gap. Yeah, so is your rolling 20 meters high? 20 meters to here, okay, the top of this here, and we think that the, the gap is 18 meters. So that gives me a tiny 10%, bit of percent, um, breaking. 10 percent <laughs> margin for error. <laughs> margin for error, yeah. So that that you know, like that's just in case like, I could catch my bar on the side. Yeah. Or like if I sink in a little bit. Thing like is with a, the canyon. Or like being like two percent short is the same as a hundred percent short. Yeah. Whoa. That doesn't stay in. It doesn't do anything, does no. it? Got that, Dave. The canyon gap is 18 meters 80. It's 60 foot. It's 60 foot across a canyon. <laughs> I've never, I've never seen this site, so I'm seeing it all oh, really? for the first time. This was the one that I, with a little bit of wood on, was 2013. I can't say. No way. But it was like it's way gnarlier in real life. It's like a pretty much a bike length wood. So now we got we need a little bit extra speed, so we have a different run into it. Are you comfortable flipping it again? Yeah, hopefully more than that. Hopefully to flip flip combo. Yeah, good lad. Yeah, that's, oh, I think people would pay good money to see Cam Zink's feet. <laughs> you know, these days <laughs> you could profit I'm heavily sure from that. I'm sure there's some people out there. Hell yeah, suck toes. <laughs> <laughs> They said it was 78 when I flipped it, but it's like, I think it's like 65. But you went tip, 78. Tip tip. Um, so I don't know. I, figured, I think I did the Pythagorean theorem on it. It's like a 45 foot vertical drop, 50 foot gap yeah. or something like that. But you like found the hypotenuse. Six Good feet, lad. Yeah, I think the hypotenuse is 6'5 probably, maybe a little more. You're not just a good looking pair of feet, are you? <laughs> <laughs> the one that you and I filmed on forever ago. Right so. on. Gee, this is ridiculously blind. What do you think? I can't even see the landing. Up perfectly, oh, so there is. Trust that it'll be there. But then your immediate that next compression looks huge. Yeah, I think it'll be hectic. This is quite a big run up to the biggest drop here. Is it? Is it confirmed? Have you built the biggest drop? A rampage. I hope not. This is part of G's ridge line, and it looks like he might be jumping from here to the other side of that knuckle. I look at this drop, and look at the length of the landing, and look at the size of the cliffs. Cool. This is completely bonkers and disturbing. Up there, we've got the start line, okay? Now, Shimon Godziek spotted this rock formation that everyone in the previous years has just ridden around underneath. They've modified the whole thing to jump on top of it. So you have to ride along this ridge line, okay? They've winded it slightly and jump from here to there onto a rock formation that was useless, but they've made usable. And it has the most exposure of any feature here, I'd say. Cliff that side to another cliff, but that cliff's not, it's not even a cliff. You will be in free fall for seconds. So this is the sickest idea to make the rampage course more gnarly. And it also makes it higher. So they then get to drop again. Word on the street is that Clements Cordella, G Atherton and Brendan Fairclough have all teamed together now to make this possible. Cause it's such, it's like such an asset to have on your run. You know, it's such an important feature to use. And the judges are going to score it so high because look, it's just dangerous. And that's all you have to describe it as. From here, with all of that cliff, you know, it's such a horrible place to be. Even building it would have been gnarly. Stood there making that wider, stacking rocks. It's been completely modified. And you ride all the way to the end and off again. So sick. Got it. You need to like whip it out quicker. Have it, have it holstered. I just shot my foot again. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it again. You shot yourself with the foot last time, did you? You did. You did just say you shot yourself. Again, yeah.
tell you what. Brendan, this edge is horrendous. It's actually more gnarly jumping it from here than from up there. Way gnarly, you know what I mean? The gap, yeah. the drop's like five times less high, but the it's consequence is 12 times bigger. Yeah, and this landing was up to here. <laughs> this is Brendan's like lower section. There's the canyon gap up there, which we've already looked at. I guess no one's ever ridden through here, have they? No. But then this edge is awful. It's all part of the same canyon that Bren's jumping up there. And he's kind of jumping it again. You are, aren't you? You're going there and back across your canyon. Yeah. Lily pad, dude. <laughs> nice shot, mate. Like that. Go on, get this one bullseye. <laughs> Headshot that. Really nice. Not my first. You could make this step down as big as you want. You know what I mean? It could be 10 foot or it could be 40 foot. Yeah, I'm just really not used to doing flip step downs. In fact, I've probably done three in my life. Oh, you do want to flip this one? Yeah. Oh, good lad. Quite wild. So I might get rid of this bush. Might, like, you love a bush. Well, you've seen what goes into the lines here at Rampage and what the new guys on the scene are building this year. And you can watch the whole thing live on Friday the 13th on Rebel TV. Don't miss out. It's going to be a massive show. Well, Friday the 13th. Yeah, that's yeah. when you've got to do your stuff. The gnarliest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, cool. they've put their, that's the day they chose. Nice, see you then. Good luck, boys. Legends. Ollie, is that how you clean your toilet after a big one? Is that what you're like with the bog brush? Oh. <laughs>